Hello, and welcome. Today, we are diving deep into a topic that affects nearly everyone with a smartphone. WhatsApp, and the secrets your phone number can reveal. You might see your number as just a string of digits for making calls or sending texts, but in the world of open source intelligence, or OSINT, it is a key. It is a starting point that can unlock a staggering amount of your personal information. Before we begin this important journey, I encourage you to subscribe to our updates. The digital world changes quickly, and staying informed is your first line of defense. We are committed to providing you with the knowledge needed to navigate it safely and securely. This essay will pull back the curtain on the tools and techniques hackers and investigators use not to create fear, but to empower you with awareness. The information we are about to discuss is powerful. These are the same tools that can be found in a hacker's toolkit, but they are also used by legitimate professionals, law enforcement investigative journalists, corporate security teams. The line between ethical use and malicious misuse is often just a matter of intent and legal authority. By understanding how these tools work, you gain a critical perspective on your own digital footprint. You begin to see the connections you may have inadvertently created between your phone number and the rest of your online identity. This knowledge is not just for technical experts, it is for everyone, parent, student, small business owner. Throughout this discussion, we will explore 10 free and accessible tools that leverage WhatsApp to gather information. We will break down what each tool does, what kind of data it can expose, and the ethical dilemmas it presents. You will see firsthand how a simple phone number can be used to discover when you are online, what groups you are a part of what your profile picture might reveal about you, and even your potential real name and other associated accounts. This is not science fiction, this is the reality of modern OSINT. The goal here is to demystify these techniques, showing you the vulnerabilities so that you can take practical steps to mitigate them. Our journey is one of empowerment. By the end of this essay, you will not only be aware of the risks, but also equipped with actionable strategies to protect yourself. Privacy is not about hiding, it is about controlling what you share and with whom. The digital breadcrumbs we leave behind can be collected and pieced together to form a detailed picture of our lives. Understanding the tools that collect these breadcrumbs is the first step toward cleaning them up. Prepare to look at your phone number and WhatsApp in a completely new light. The secrets are out there, and it is time we all learned what they are and how to keep our own information safe from prying eyes. In the field of OSINT, a pivot is a piece of information that lets an investigator jump from one data point to another connecting parts of a person's digital life. Your phone number has become one of the most powerful pivot points in existence. Think about it. How many online services have you signed up for using your phone number? Social media accounts, email services, shopping websites, messaging apps like WhatsApp. This creates a centralized link that a determined individual can exploit. They don't need to hack your phone directly. They just need to know where to look using the number you've shared publicly or semi-publicly. Hackers and investigators treat the phone number as a primary key in a massive, informal database, the Internet. Their first step is often to see if the number is associated with a WhatsApp account. If it is, a wealth of information becomes available. Profile picture about status. Last, seen status, if privacy settings are open. This initial data might seem trivial, but it's the first thread they pull. A profile picture can be reverse image searched to find other social profiles. A username or status message can give clues about your identity interests or location. Each small detail is a new pivot point. From there, the investigation branches out. The same number can be queried on other platforms. Facebook account, Telegram account, leaked database. Tools automate this process rapidly scanning hundreds of sources for the number. An anonymous phone number can become linked to a name and email address, social connections and a history of online activity. The process is like assembling a puzzle. The hacker starts with the phone number uses OSINT tools to find connected pieces and reveals the full picture of your digital identity. The implications are significant. For a legitimate investigator, this can help locate a missing person or identify a criminal suspect. Connecting a burner phone to a social profile can be a case-breaking lead. In the wrong hands, this becomes a tool for stalking harassment identity theft and targeted phishing. The first tool in many reconnaissance kits is a simple, script-based utility we will refer to as Wainfo. These are basic scripts built to answer one question. Does a phone number have an active WhatsApp account? The goal is efficiency and discretion. An investigator or a hacker might have a list of hundreds or thousands of numbers and need a fast filter. 
These tools automate checks against WhatsApp servers often by simulating the add contact action at scale without saving contacts to a device. Output is typically simple. Yes, no. Advanced versions can also pull public profile data. If active, scripts can scrape a profile picture about text last seen status if privacy settings allow. For an investigator, this initial data dump is invaluable. It confirms the target is on the platform. It gives the first visual and textual clues. For a hacker, this is step one in building a victim profile, confirming a live target before deeper attacks. Who uses these tools? Law enforcement, validate numbers from call logs, pen testers, check company exposure via employee numbers. Journalists, verify sources, spammers and scammers, compile lists for mass messaging. Stalkers, confirm if a person is on the platform. These scripts are simple and accessible, making them a common starting point. The privacy and ethical issues are clear. You probably didn't consent to a stranger programmatically checking your activity. Building upon the initial probe, we encounter a more persistent and invasive type of tool, exemplified by projects like What Spy Public. This tool is not about a one-time check, it's about continuous monitoring. Its primary purpose is to track a target's online status over time. By constantly polling WhatsApp servers for a user's last seen online status, the tool can build a detailed timeline of their activity. It logs every time the user opens the app and when they close it. It does this silently, in the background, without the target ever knowing they are being watched. This tool exploits the fact that the online status is public information, visible to anyone who has your phone number. The output of a WhatsApp type tool is a detailed log, or even a graphical representation of the target's daily, weekly, monthly. It can show you that the target was online from 8.05 in the morning to 8.20, then again at half past noon, and then for two hours straight starting at 9 in the evening. By analyzing these patterns, an observer can make startlingly accurate inferences. They can determine the target's sleep schedule, their work hours, when they are commuting, and even when they might be communicating with another specific person, if that person's status is being tracked simultaneously. The tool turns metadata into a behavioral diary. This kind of tool is a perfect example of dual-use technology. A concerned parent might use it to ensure their child is not staying up all night on their phone in a corporate environment. It could be used, unethically, to monitor employee productivity. A stalker could use it to determine when their victim is home and awake. An abusive partner could use it to control and monitor their significant other's communications. A burglar could use it to establish when a person is least likely to be home. The tool itself is just code. The intent of the user defines its ethical standing. The privacy implications are chilling. Even if you have disabled your last seen status in WhatsApp's privacy settings, your online status cannot be hidden. When you are actively using the app, anyone with your number can see it. What spy? Public and similar tools automate the process of watching that status 24-7. This highlights a fundamental vulnerability in the platform's design. Not all tools are purely technical. Some, like the famous Social Engineering Toolkit or SET, are designed to exploit the weakest link in any security system, the human being. For example, an attacker could use SET to clone the official WhatsApp website, creating a pixel-perfect fake login page. They would then send a link to this fake page to the target, which asks the user to scan a QR code, just like WhatsApp Web. However, scanning this QR code would not log them into their computer. It would link their WhatsApp account to the attacker's device. Our next tool, Exif Tool. Its purpose is to read metadata. When someone sends you a photo on WhatsApp, the platform typically strips out most of the sensitive metadata to protect privacy. However, this is not always the case for profile pictures. The output from EXIF tool can be incredibly revealing. Even more critically, it can contain the exact GPS coordinates of where the photo was taken, time-stamped to the second. The final tool in our list is not a single piece of software but a technique, reverse image search. This is one of the most fundamental and powerful OSINT techniques available. Google Images, Tiny, Yandex, they let you upload an image and search the web for where that image or similar images appear. In a WhatsApp investigation, the process is simple. Take a screenshot of the target's profile picture. Upload that picture to one or more reverse image search engines. The goal is to de-anonymize the person behind the WhatsApp account. The search results can be the key that unlocks the whole investigation. It can link an anonymous WhatsApp account to a public profile on another platform. Suddenly, an anonymous phone number maps to a full identity. 
Today, we have journeyed through the Hacker's Toolkit exposing 10 types of tools and techniques, turning a simple phone number into a detailed personal dossier via WhatsApp. The purpose of this exploration was not to induce fear, but to foster a healthy, realistic awareness. Knowledge is the first and most critical step toward empowerment. Stay safe and stay informed.